Imagine if we viewed our entire life as a mission trip, a journey not defined by a departure date or a return flight, but by a continuous drive and sacrifice to serve and share the gospel. Mission trips as we know them are powerful experiences. Most of them are marked by clear beginnings and ends fitting neatly into our calendars and our lives. They push us out of our comfort zones and challenge us to serve and open our eyes to the needs of the world. But what if the end of the trip wasn't the end of the mission? Our real mission begins with a compelling problem, the loss and the hurting, those who have never heard God's name or experienced his love. This mission doesn't pause. It's not subject to schedule or convenience. It's ongoing, relentless, driven by the love and command of Christ. As we embrace this perspective, let's challenge ourselves to step out in faith, to lower ourselves and to serve the least, the last and the lost, to bring light into darkness, hope to despair and love where there is hatred. The magnitude of God's sacrifice and the depth of Christ's love lead us to respond and to be moved to action. Let us answer the cry of our Savior to take the gospel throughout the world. Pray with me for current fields and future laborers. Invest in his word going forth. And yes, there may be some of us, some of our own sons and daughters, and perhaps even you may go. As the Father has sent the Son, we too are sent.